Passive Breathing Coordination, or ABC, is a breath hold technique often used for the radiation therapy treatment of left breast cancers. Just because you are receiving radiation to your left breast doesn't mean that you will have to do this technique. Everybody's anatomy is different. Depending on the request of your physician, you may be scanned free breathing first to analyze how close your heart is to the chest wall and if a breath hold technique is necessary. This video is focused on making new patients aware of what to expect during their simulation or their planning appointment. But first, let's examine why holding your breath is so important. The heart lies slightly to the left of the breastbone, so our main concern is radiation exposure to the heart. The photo on the left represents a free breathing treatment you can see that the radiation beam is hitting part of the heart. The photo on the right represents a breath hold treatment. As the patient holds their breath, their heart is pulled down away from the chest wall and away from the radiation beam. We want to spare the heart as much as possible to decrease the chances of pericarditis, congestive heart failure, or ischemic heart disease happening years down the road. What to expect during your simulation appointment. This is the general setup that you will see when you get into the CT sim room. This here is the bore of the CT machine. You will go through this during your scan. You may go through it a few times, but each scan will only take a few minutes at most. You'll be lying here on your back. And this is the ABC computer system. We will go into a little more detail on what each component is. This is a backlock bag. It's used to stabilize your upper torso as well as support your arms as they will be resting above your head. This bag is full of beans and the therapist will form it around your arms to your comfort. Once an acceptable position is found, the air gets sucked out and it forms to your body. This immobilization device is specifically for you and will be used every day during your treatment. This bag consists of the mouthpieces and the nose plugs or the snorkel that you'll use. These will be thrown away and you'll be given a brand new set each day for treatment. This photo depicts what the snorkel pieces look like when it's all put together and hooked up. Your mouth will go around this part here and the two can be manipulated so that it is as comfortable for you as possible. This button is what puts you in charge of the whole process. When you are ready to begin, the therapist will instruct you to push your button in. This alerts the ABC system to start. The therapist will then instruct you to take a few normal breaths followed by a breath hold. When you reach threshold on your deep breath in, the system will aid you in staying at that level until you let go of the button and the system releases and you are able to breathe freely. If at any point during the treatment you need to breathe, or if there is an emergency, just let go of the button and the treatment will stop. This device is called the transducer. It aids you in holding your breath. Once you reach threshold, this device locks and you can't breathe in anymore or breathe out until you release the green button. This helps you stay at the same lung volume so that you don't have to worry about holding the same amount of air in yourself. This photo depicts what a general ABC setup looks like. You have the backlock bag with the arms above the head holding the green enable button. The nose clip is properly placed on the nose and there is a tight seal around the mouthpiece that's hooked up to the transducer. This screen shows the detection of your breathing. When you push in the green button, it signals the system that you are ready and prompts the threshold to prepare to engage. Once threshold is met, the transducer locks so you stay at that same volume level throughout treatment. This is an example of what it will look like during a breath hold. 
the patient pushes in her green button and takes a few normal breaths, as you can see here on the computer screen. She then performs a breath hold, where she hits threshold and is kept at the same lung volume. Once she releases the green button, she is able to breathe freely. These are just some things to remember when using the ABC system. You are in charge. The length of time that you need to hold your breath is ultimately up to you. Be in communication with your therapist on what your comfort level is. During your simulation appointment, they will coach you and be there with you every single step of the way. You will start out with short breath holds until you feel comfortable to go longer. Keep a tight seal around the mouthpiece. The nose clip should only allow you to breathe through your mouth, so make sure it's placed correctly. Keep the green enable button pushed in during treatment and release it to breathe freely. Take normal breaths except when you are in breath hold. Avoid breathing through your stomach and try breathing through your chest as much as possible. Remember, we are trying to pull your chest wall away from your heart. Don't hesitate to ask questions at any time during your treatment. And relax. We know that this is an unnatural and awkward process, but we will help you with every single step. I just want to give a special thanks to Courtney Berg for being my model and to Providence Portland Medical Center's Oncology Clinic for allowing me to film and use their equipment for this video.